Hello, beautiful souls. Today, I will show you an example of interpretation of one case from my Biowell database. This is a very interesting case because I was able to scan the person for four days in a row. So I have 17 scans in my database. Of course, in real life, in many cases, you will not have so many scans for one person, but still, this is a demonstration of how the interpretation should go. What should be the logic, the step-by-step -step, uh, protocol of making conclusions, where to look and what to pay attention to. So let's go. So here is this case. First of all, let's take a look at overall state of this person. Uh, as you can see, I have scanned uh, this man many times and uh, before and after exercises, so I uh, have lots of data. So let's uh, send them to compare and go to analysis. The first thing that we see is that this person is constantly stressed all these four days five, six, or even seven units in our scale. It's pretty high stress and always like this. So the first remark that we make in our mind. Next, the energy is not so bad and not so good, depends on the day and the time. Sometimes it's higher, sometimes it's lower. But in average, yeah the trend is towards low energy. So again, we keep it in mind. The balance is pretty fine. It's in the optimal zone. And the next thing that we also need to pay attention to is that the organs disbalance is showing us pretty regularly the dominance of the right hand, willingness to take rest. The main thing, the most outstanding for this case is that the stress is constantly high, no matter at what part of the day we're capturing this person before exercises or after, it's always high. So let's try to understand what kind of stress it is, because in BioWall software, the stress parameter is an integral stress. So the nature of this stress can be psychological or physiological. So let's go to chakras. Here we see that mostly his balance and alignment of chakras is pretty good. Around 90%, slightly below usually. So not ideal, but okay. And we cannot say that there are some kind of uh, acute states or some problems, acute problems on the psychological level that we can see right here, right now. So, we need to understand why the stress is there. So we were capturing this person in different environmental conditions, in different rooms in these four days. But in each time, we had this increased heightened stress level. So it means that the most, problem, uh, most probably it's not because of the environment, because the places were different, but stress is always the same. So maybe there's something else. Let's take a look at the balance. Because we see that there's constantly in like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cases from 17. 50% of cases, we see the uh, dominance of the right hand. So let's look at the balance chart and scroll through the scans. We can see pretty high number of imbalance sectors always in all the scans that we made, no matter before or after exercises. It's constantly high number of imbalance sectors. And what is also interesting that if you look at the sector 
the bar number eight that is connected and representing adrenals here. And we scroll through the scans, we can see that it's almost constantly highlighted. And imbalanced. So adrenals are constantly imbalanced. So, and adrenals are directly connected with adrenaline and stress. So maybe this is the reason. So the dominance of the right hand means the person, this person wants to take rest. And why? Maybe there's some kind of chronic fatigue and it can be also connected with the adrenals, maybe exhaustion of adrenals or something like that. So um, if we look at the visual part of analysis, we go to the database and we scroll through the scans, of course, we will see different problematic sectors with abnormal emission, like we see at the lower back, that we see at the urogenital system, that we see with the respiratory system here or here, or with the liver or kidneys. But these spheres are common. You know, and we have already discussed this on my channel, these five main pillars of our modern lifestyle that are directly connected with these sectors. But what is also um, outstanding for this case is that the sector of adrenals that we have seen in the imbalance, see here it's the only blank sector in the whole system. Then here we see the abnormal emission with gaps in it. We go through uh, the scans and we pay attention to this part, for example, adrenal sector. We see that it's constantly abnormal with scarce emission. And you can see in many cases, it has gaps in the emission and the emission doesn't start right from the edge of the finger, like here again. So definitely there's something going wrong with this area. So the visual analysis is also telling us to pay attention to adrenals. So maybe this person has some kind of tiredness, uh, chronic fatigue, and uh, maybe this is connected with some adrenaline exhaustion also can be the case, or they can be some subconscious problem that is constantly keeping the system in the stress state. So let's summarize what we have seen in this case. In this case, we have found out that besides some very popular problems that most of the people have, um, we have found out the issue with the adrenals and stress. So, but we cannot define what is the exact source of this stress just by looking at the biowell scans, but we can forward this person to a psychologist who can help to find out what is the reason of it? What kind of a subconscious automatic program is lying there in the mindset level that is constantly causing this person to be under pressure and be so stressed? Another thing that is obvious, of course, this person needs a good rest anyway. And if we look at all of these problems that we see, the, the back, kidneys, respiratory, urogenital, all, the, all, all of them. We don't multiple problems there, but we should 
concentrate on one, the most important. And from the point of view of uh, traditional Chinese medicine and also Ayurveda, the main thing for the person in order to be able to recover himself, this person or any person needs to be harmonized and balanced, first of all. So the number one thing to do is to decrease the stress and increase the level of harmony and balance for this person. And then when this person is already in a balanced and optimal state from and in harmonized state, we can then start working on other issues that we have noticed in the bio analysis. So the conclusion is get rid of stress and find out the reason of this constant adrenal, adrenals imbalance. That's it. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope this analysis will help you also to use BioWell more useful. Take care. Enjoy BioWell.